Hello, welcome back. Yeah, used records, originals, but funnily not, not from Dan Bosch. You know, after uh, uh, we came back from Dan Bosch, the very next day, I had an appointment together with Thomas, with a, with a record dealer of my choice in a way, because he has those amazing crowd rock records in, in, in dream condition and also when it comes to Dan Bosch I already had that uh, in the back of my head and yeah he he and, and the stuff he can provide is, is really one of a kind and so I'm very very happy to make a video about three records two of them are in my opinion on the same level as the cluster with K when it comes to the collectability, to the scarcity and to the yeah to the difficulties you, you have to get through to get them in a in a in a very very good condition. Those are just not that out there, at least not in an amazing condition. And I'm very very pleased to share this now with you. Let's start with the <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, the the jacket is crazy. I show no. The the it's nine days wonder. Came out in 1971, and I don't know if you can see it. The whole jacket is covered in a foam. So also the uh, you have. Oh, oh God, yeah, here yeah, it's getting into focus. Also the print is on this foam and usually usually when you find it nowadays there's just an idea of foam and yeah here is one where the foam is almost completely intact which is quite something it's an it's a beautiful gatefold jacket with a very very nice but small inlay some photos yeah what the jacket you know th those crowd rock people those people of the time 1971 who comes on the uh, on the idea of, of <laughs> making foam around the the jacket and then print it wonderful idea this record came out on the on the lovely Bacillus records I show you the label as I haven't shown that too often and also you know you can see we are talking 53 53 year old record brilliant condition and yeah crowd rock but it's 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 a real rock record fusion proc rock in my opinion, very heavily influenced by uh, the early Frank Zappa. So those of you who sometimes dislike crowd rock, when it's when it's too far out there, let's say the early cluster or or, or agitation free or, or Ashra Temple, this is for you rock guys, which in a way goes for all three records of today. So. Highly recommend it. Don't know if there is a reissue from it, but you can probably, <clears throat> if you want to listen into the music, get an idea of Nine Days Wonder, you probably can, can stream something of it. Now we are really getting into <laughs> heavy stuff. Hard to get. I was on the run, uh, not on the run, <laughs> I was on the look for this record for at least one and a half two years now i know in a way that's not that much but this is really tough to get i'm talking about mac church sound room delusion again 1971 this time on the wonderful wonderful pills label and i show you i know i showed it but but you cannot see enough of the pills label i mean this label this label is iconic, iconic. And again, it's, it's 
ein Rock Album comes with this I mean w once you've seen this jacket you won't forget right this is amazing stuff also it comes on a wonderful gatefold and of course very important to mention the producer Connie uh, master as an engineer Connie Plunk and the drumming on this crowd rock rock proc album the drumming in my opinion is insane this is an insane album wow fantastic rock music fantastic i think there is a there isn't reissue <coughs> excuse me there isn't a reissue available wow you rock fans out there if you haven't already try this this is crowd rock at its best and you know i always wonder i always wonder why is this record so expensive at least when it comes to to this this is near mint when i put it up on the on the t on the turntable it was it was wonderful it was as if i would have opened a new analog production atlantic 75 this is flawless again 1971 so 53 years old boy maybe unplayed maybe you know i'm not a physical a physician so i <laughs> uh, uh, who knows but but sounds like new and this was of course an amazing an amazing find and i'm so happy that i have this one now <clears throat> in my collection very 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 special record and two funny anecdotes or one anecdote from one fun fact especially when it comes to crowd rock um, when they made this record when they when they produced this record the neighbors called the police and they had to they had to interrupt they had to interrupt the recording sessions or the session so thank you neighbors but they still managed to put out this unbelievable cool album and fun fact crowd rock this band is from switzerland so swiss rock or whatever but yeah i get the idea 71 in the at least nearby germany and and, and yeah they label it also as crowd yeah and, and probably because it's it's on the pills on the pills label maybe that's that's why fantastic fantastic record and just when you think you have an amazing day it's wonderful finally it gets better the shiver Valpurgis look at this cover art yeah you know r ring a bell you realize who is this 1969 yes it's HR Giga who really became very well known with Alien a little later so again crowd rock yeah but heavily on the rock side and what I what I can say or, or, or what I did say about the drums on the on the Mac Church sound room I say for the guitar play here this is crazy stuff brilliant stuff damn it 1969 unbelievable unbelievable cool record and extremely extremely hard to find and almost impossible to find in a in a in a great great condition i show you the labels on the mars mars music i think that's their only 12 inch they did a few seven inches and that's it here you have the have the have the record wonderful wonderful so those have been so far of course the the most 
surprising, impressive, wonderful, outstanding, amazing, outrageous, gorgeous finds of 2024. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really into this now, really digging into them and listening uh, uh, to them and, and, and just loving the experience. All three of them has an unbelievable, unbelievable sound. So punchy, so much dynamics. It, it's, I, did, I don't know how they did it. Those are, un, all three of them, are unbelievable great sounding records. What I might do, because a lot of you have asked me for that, I, as I have some of, of, of those as reissues, I will do a video about the reissue. But, but I'm afraid that, that the originals kills the reissues by far. And uh, that wouldn't, but that wouldn't mean much in a way because those crowd rock records are so hard to get and getting more and more and more and more expensive. But still it would be, even I, I haven't done a comparison. I haven't, I haven't done that so far. I, when I look over there, because there are the, <laughs> that shelf, uh, but I, I think I will do that because we have to get the, get the word out and, and discuss this. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's it in a way. Um, and yeah, again, another game. Yeah, those three are game changers for my collection. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, really happy that I'm getting more and more uh, 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 deep into this crowd rock. There is so much to discover. The, the musical variety is so huge. Crowd rock, that's quite a thing. Thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.